got the best, the hottest man in the world. I'm coming! Schmack and Magaba Bag Bang Pizza Skulls. This is a donation from Michael Gussler. Michael, uh, please send me an email because you asked for some KISS track by tracks and they're not going to be up for a while. So I put them as unlisted to send it to you because many people have sent me uh, KISS track by tracks that I got their email from PayPal and I sent it to them unlisted so they can watch it. And then I tell them, look, when you're done watching it, please let me know so I can schedule it for a future date. And uh, Michael, I don't have your email. Your PayPal didn't contain your email. So please do that for me. And everybody else, man, check your emails if you're track by track. Haven't been put up in a while. So Michael wanted me to put St. Anger. Now this is a funny story how I have this. When it, uh, Electro Records sent it to me. I don't know how they got, uh, how they knew me or whatever, but I got an envelope with this in it that said Electro Records. I was like, what the hell? So uh, it brought a DVD and I popped in the DVD to watch it and I did watch it once, way back when it was released. And it was just so bad that I never really listened to the to the CD, though I have heard a couple tracks like the videos and stuff. And he wanted me to put it against the deluxe version. This is the deluxe version of 13 that has bonus tracks. That way they can uh, match. So I already did it. I already took the notes. So here we go. First song, Frantic. Tick, 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 tock. My lifestyle. Determines my death style. I would say delete that. Yeah. yeah, delete that shit. And that's going against end of the beginning. Now, I said this before because I've done it track by track and I've talked about this album. End of the beginning to me is Black Sabbath Part 2, the song. And Black Sabbath, man, my favorite band of all time. Every album, they never repeated themselves and here they are. But I'm still going to give it <laughs> to, to the Black Sabbath copy song. Next song is God is Dead. Uh, this is Black Sabbath, the first song, part three. I mean, one after the other. They're repeating themselves. They don't even spread it out later on the CD. Fucking weird. And that's going against St. Anger. Oh. This is, you know, it, it's Metallica. And you know what? I, I got to say this. It's so trendy to bash on Metallica that I don't do it. But I'm going to have to now. You know, because, you know, I, I did respect the fact that this album here, they're trying to be different. Okay, fine. You know, it, it, it doesn't piss me off, really. I just ignore it. Except today I couldn't. Um, but I really do believe these are millionaires trying to be hardcore. And... and you know, they did, they were game changers in the 80s. They started the whole thrash craze. So I think what they were thinking was, oh, we're going to start the new, whatever the fuck you want to call this music craze. And it didn't catch on. Um, and, uh, but I'm still, I'm, I'm going to give it to uh, Black Sabbath Part 3. All right, the next song is uh, Some Kind of Monster. This is, to me, the best song on here. And it's not saying much because it's it's terrible. But it's like the one song that kind of like doesn't sound so disjointed like the rest of this album. And what's that going against? A uh, Loner. N.I.B. Part 2. Repeating themselves again. I'm still going to give it to Sabbath. All right. Next. Dirty Window. Again, Millionaire is trying to be hardcore. and It just doesn't match up. It's just, I don't know, man. It's weak. And that's one's going against Zeitgeist, which, man, I mean, yeah, Planet Caravan Part 2, but this one offends me more than the other ones because at least in Planet Caravan, Ozzy sounded different. Here it's that auto-tuned Ozzy I just can't stand to this song where I'm actually going to give this one to Metallica. All right, next is Invisible Kid. What a clusterfuck. This shit, again, it's like out of sync and... Just, I don't know, it's like avant-garde bullshit. For, for me, it doesn't cut it, you know. Horrible. Uh, what's that going against? Uh, Age of Reason. Not memorable, kind of pedestrian, but the solo's pretty good. 
I'll give it to that from the solo alone. Uh, next is uh, My World. What the fuck is this about? It's My World. You can't have it, sucker. What did Sammy Hagar ghostwrite this song? Ghostwrite these lyrics? Fucking horrible. Um, and that's going against Live Forever. And, and these lyrics. I don't want to live forever. And I don't want to die. Did Hagar co-write this one too? Yeah, it's amazing. Geezer Butler's a brilliant bass player. And what the fuck is up with these lyrics? Everything is wrong with this album. Everything. Just like this one. This is a bona fide suck versus suck, let me tell you. All right, but I'm going to give that to Sabbath. Um, Sweet Amber. You know, this song is not bad. If you take away the guitars, the bass, the drums, the vocals, the whole song. It wouldn't be bad. And uh, what's that going against? Dear Father. Musically, it's not bad, but Jesus, man. The vocals and the vocal melodies, which Ozzy is a genius. I know a lot of you discount Ozzy as having no talent. Ozzy comes up with all the vocal melodies. And they're fucking awesome. But here, these vocal melodies fucking suck. It's just terrible. But it still wins over Sweet Amber. All right, the next song is called The Unnamed Feeling. What the fuck? I, I'm pretty sure that that I really, that, I really, I, I really don't think so. And I would say, delete that. And that's going against Methodemic. And this is like the best song on here. And it's a bonus track. It's still not that great, but still, I put it above every song on this album. Uh, this wins. All right, next one is Purify. What the fuck again? I mean, this is them really trying hard to be different, to start some kind of trend. It's just, man, did it fall flat on his face. Horrible. And that goes against peace of mind. Let me tell you, man, this song right here, you know, a lot of people say, and yeah, there is validity to, uh, man, if they would have had Bill Ward on the album, would have been different because this drummer is so pedestrian where Bill Ward would have done all the jazzy shit. But I don't know, man. I don't know if Bill Ward can save these songs like this, peace of mind. I mean, even with the great Bill Ward, this shit would sound like crap. But it still wins. All right. Then we go to the last song, All Within My Hands. Here, Lars is trying to be inventive on the drums, doing these silly little things, but it just doesn't match up. Again, it's kind of like avant-garde bullshit. Seriously, this shit, the, and, and the breakdowns on this song sound like it could have fit on Lulu. Fucking horrible. And what's that going against? Pariah. Again, some, some cool riffs, but again, Bill couldn't have helped this shit. And I can't stand Ozzy's autotune voice. Terrible, but it wins. All right. Okay, look. Uh, I know many are going to disagree. I've seen people say they love 13 when I bash it. And I'm sure a lot of you love St. Anger and you're going to get upset. I'm just talking about the people that get upset. Well, to make you feel better, I will say this. Look, here's the deal. You, all you angry pickle whistlers out there, you, you have a superior musical taste in me. I suck. You rule. So now what you do is you go upstairs from your basement. Well, wait till your mom is done with the John she's banging now. And uh, when she's done, go up there and say, Mom, Mom, I got superior taste in Ralph. I do. And she's going to be so proud of you when she's wiping that stranger jizz off her face. Right on, everybody. So Michael Gussler, thank you so much. And please send me an email, man. And uh, I will send you the unlisted Kiss Track by Track because they're not going to be up for a while. You're going to see my hair going to come in a lot more, but you're going to see it like this. Because I already did it. I've already done with it. So it's just an email away, my friend. And thank you again for donating. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. 
And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not. And bang, bang, pizza skulls, that notification bell. Right on, everybody. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Bah! I would say delete that. Yeah.